Hello Flets Point user! In this video we will cover four topics. Terminologies, workflow, rules, and support. First up, terminology. Workflows. Workflows are a set of rules that operate together to automate your account. Rules. Rules are custom automation you can create. First, let's tackle how to create a rule. For our examples today, we're going to focus on pricing and quantity. Here, you can see that we already have a rule enabled named percentage markup. Let's open this rule and take a closer look. First, note that this is an always run rule. Always run rules will apply every time and do not require conditions to be met before applying. This rule means that the default list price will automatically be raised by 25%. But let's say we want to ensure that our pricing never falls below the minimum advertised price or MAP. In that case, we'll create a new rule. Hit OK to close this rule. Next, click Add Rule. Here, choose Conditional or Tiered. Conditional is the format of the rule we just saw. Tiered allows you to use a tiers format and is often used for things like shipping costs based on weight. For this example, we're selecting Conditional. Start by naming the rule something clear and unique. I'm calling this rule Map Protection. Next, select Rules Match. This is, allows us to set our conditions. In the first dropdown, choose Map. The next dropdown will allow us to select if map exists. Now click and. In this dropdown, choose default list price followed by less than field. Now add map in the last dropdown. Great, now we've set our conditions. We're saying that if the map pricing exists and the default list price is less than the map pricing, then this rule will apply. Now we need to set the then dropdowns to determine what happens when this rule applies. In the first column, choose default list price, then set to field, then map. Now our rule states that if map pricing exists and the default list price is less than map, then set default list price to map. Using this rule, your default list price will always be equal to MAP in the event the original pricing was lower than MAP. You will not be flagged by the supplier using this rule. To save and apply this rule, click Update Workflow in the top right corner. Once the update completes, you will see the pricing change automatically throughout FlexPoint. This, is, this rule will also update all future product pricing. And there you have it. You know how to build a rule. Now that you know how to build a rule, let's talk about how rules work together to create a workflow. When creating workflows, it is important to note that rules work in top to bottom priority. In this example, the percentage markup will run and raise the pricing before our map protection goes into place. You may drag and drop to rearrange the order of your rules. You may also enable and disable a single rule by clicking on the toggle switch. Remember to click Update Workflow in the top right corner after every change. I've got a flex point pro tip for you. Testing workflows is a great tool that will allow you to preview how your rules will impact one another. Click Test Workflow, fill in the blanks, and click Run Test to see the results. The results will show you the original value followed by the new value after the rules have been applied. It will also show you which rules in the workflow applied to this test. Always test your workflow before moving on to the next task. Within FlexPoint, there are a wide variety of workflows you can use to customize your automation. We'll focus on three major types, products, listing status, and order. You can find each of these sections in the settings menu. Products is where we focus so far. 
Here you can create rules or workflows focused on product pricing and quantity. Next, listing status. These workflows allow you to create rules that take action on your sales channel. These could be rules around publishing or delisting products. Below listing status, you'll see orders. You can create rules around order importing, invoicing, routing, and your fulfillment request strategy. Another key aspect to note about workflows. These here in your account settings are called global rules. These global rules will apply across all sales channels. If you would like to set a rule for one channel only, navigate to your channel by clicking the channel icon, followed by the gear icon next to the appropriate channel. Here, you'll see the pricing and quantity workflows along with the listing status workflows. These workflows are channel specific and will only affect this channel. Want to learn more about rules and testing the rules yourself? Good news! When FlexPoint creates your account, our team adds the most commonly requested rules for you to experiment with. This gives you a jumping off point to customizing your automation. Remember, if you have questions, our support team is standing by to assist you. We offer 24-7 email and chat support, along with Zoom-based support calls by appointment. Thank you for your time.